Hi guys, today we are going to review a telescope which I use for viewing the moon in the night sky. I have given the link in the description for buying this telescope. So without any further delay, let's review this telescope. So starting from the very bottom, we can see that there are some legs. Three of them which support the whole telescope. And they, all three of them are made of aluminium. They are pretty solid. And if we look at the top of them, we can see there are some junctions here which connect the legs to the telescope. And down below here, this, and I call this actually the elbow, oh, sorry, the knee of these, uh, the telescopic legs. And as you can see, they consist of some bolts. And these bolts we can use to turn and also adjust the size of this leg. So if you want to adjust the size of the leg, you just have to turn this and you can adjust the size. So it is a very arduous task for one person because if one of the object, uh, legs get loose, the whole telescope can fall down. So, it, But it is, it is easy with the help of two or more persons. So actually two minimum persons are required to uh, actually the, adjust the size of these legs. So going up further, we can see that legs attached to the telescope using these nuts further and also you can see there is this um, gimbal like thing here to support the whole uh, main body of the telescope so as you can see there are some nuts here which actually are used to uh, take off the whole uh, body of the telescope from the structure so I'm not going to do that I, because I don't want any disasters here so if we look at the back of it you can see a triangular shape this triangular shape consists of mirrors We'll talk about later how this system works, and you can see it is. It consists of this white thing. This white thing is actually a covering for the lens, and actually it doesn't consist a lens right now. It's just a covering for the whole this uh, hollow. And if you can see here, a little telescope is like here. So it's pretty similar. It looks pretty uh, similar to the big telescope, but its functions are pretty different. So this object, this object is used for actually pointing the objects in the night sky. So if you want to see the moon, you first have to point it and it is used for pointing the object. So there is a little plus inside it. I can show you that. So as you can see, there is a little plus here inside to view the moon, target the moon. So this is a pretty interesting object. It is actually my favorite because of the just a cool looking cross or plus at the front of it. And if you can see here. Then there's a black thing attached to this, and this black thing is attached to the whole aluminium body of the telescope using some using the two bolts. And this is actually is pretty interesting because this isn't a single structure, but something that is attached to this, and this is in further is attached to this. And if we see here, you can also see a sticker. This sticker says that the, this model is 706 70060 telescope, and its focal length is around 700 mm and its diameter here is 60 millimeter so it's it is it has a coated lens and if you look at the aluminum body there's one more sticker which is a caution and if we read it we can see that under no circumstances should observer look directly at the sun through the telescope as direct observation of the sun is dangerous to your eyes i actually have to uh, observe this sun actually because in the early morning the sun is not so bright but I've tried that because but that was the worst experience I had with this telescope because it the lens got too hot and I just had to close it and if you look at the between the legs you can see that there's a three way junction like this like you would we call a disc here and this disc consists of lenses so I can put the lenses here we'll talk about the lenses later let's move on further and see some more things and there's not much to be uh, reviewed now because already I've reviewed all the whole, the whole telescope and actually I can explain some functions of it for example if you look at the top you can see that there's a covering here if I can remove this covering I can see, you can see that there's a lens here and this lens is actually pretty small compared to the cover, to this cover outer cover and if you look at the cover it itself is very interesting because it consists of 
for, for the cover I can remove that for you so as you can see I removed the cover from here and I can get the cover for you and here is it so actually it can enhance your nighttime viewing experience because the lesser the light can penetrate through your telescope the more visible the celestial bodies will be to you so if we, by doing this we can actually reduce the amount of light that can go into this telescope and actually enhance our uh, viewing experience i have actually never tried it i'll soon try it and also if we look at the side this side it's written sandu science so it is manufactured by some manufactured and marketed by sandu science educational aids so s s e a for short and I have also given the link in the description for my other two videos being the moon through this telescope. You can see them. And if you talk about one more mechanism of this is from the starting. You can see that there's a kind of two dials here. And these dials are nothing but, nothing but there's some mechanism that can be used to adjust uh, focus length. So as you know, different persons have different focal lengths. And we can adjust the focal length of the, those, of the telescope using this. So actually what we call the blur clear, uh, blur and clear uh, mechanism. So if you see here, we can see that this consists of a little bolt here if you pay close attention. And we can actually loosen this bolt and also tighten it if you want to. And once you once you have set the position, for example, let me lose the board first, and then you have to do like this. You can move your whole telescope like this. You know. So once, for example, I have adjusted it like this, and you want to set it here only, then you can go back to the bolt and tighten it like this. So that's how you will do this. And also, there are some I have already explained you earlier. Um, two bolts here to detach the whole body of this and uh, pretty much uh, very interesting option here which actually I will uh, explain you so actually what happens you can see a bolt here right, right this one and if you loosen it you can move the telescope like this horizontally and this way if you for example I want to set it like this you can like move it like here and then set it by f tightening the bolt here so it's all black it's not very visible but still I hope it's visible and then I'm going to explain what the mechanism how the, this mechanism works so first for example take take the moon so if you see here's the moon okay so it gives off light and this light goes into the telescope and straight towards this mirror. So this mirror then reflect the light here into our eyes. So I can remove this cap here. So you see I have removed the cap and you can see inside of it. Pretty interesting, huh? And if we look at the cap, it looks something like this on the side. And actually what happens that moon sends a light moonlight come here uh, reflects uh, there's a mirror actually here which reflects the light into our eyes to which we're going to see actually we're not going to see this way we're going to use lenses lenses uh, to, to do so so I'm going to, going to explain the lenses here there are three of them and all three of them are actually unique in their own way so I've taken all the three lenses in front of me from the desk and you can see they come in these small boxes small white white boxes which are which are actually, actually very convenient and if you open one of them you can see a lens here so this is the uh, 20 mm one so if you see it closely you can see that it consists of one big eye like thing and this is actually a very weak one and it doesn't con concentrate the light too much to our eyes that's why it is used for observing a thing from, 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 from far away, sorry. And you can see here, it is actually pretty, pretty interesting. And it is the weakest of, of all the three. If you look at the second one, then let's open it first. 
and see it is a little smaller than the previous one and let's tell you the size comparison it's a little smaller than the previous one in the matters of height also and and, and in the matters of lens also as you can see it is a, it is slightly smaller and this is the one with the 12.5 mm this is the medium of the two and it focuses for 12.5 mm and then there is the smallest of them all which is pretty small in the matters of the lens also and height also so but this is the strongest of them all it magnifies the most it is the 4 4 mm one I don't know what why SR I did in front of it anyways the strongest and it can resolve the highest it can resolve the highest but it can also as you see in the brightness of the object which you are seeing decreases when you pick up the stronger lens so you have to sacrifice the brightness of the object in order to get a higher magnified image so the big craters of the moon are only visible through this this one not through this so they're pretty much visible by these two but not by these if you have to see the moon admire the moon's beauty from a distance then you can even this you, you can use this lens but if you have to if you, are, you have to look at the craters and you can see you can use these two lens so let's pack them back so the reason why I have taken this one is that because I have to put it here. So I have to, if I have to put it here, I have to keep it here first. And then it will loosen the bolt here. You can see the scissor bolt. You can loosen it. And then you can put the lens simply into this. Like this. I don't know why this isn't going in. Let me just try. So you have to put it like this. I did. I just did put it here. So that was all about today's video. That's pretty much all to this telescope. Hope you enjoyed the review and also write down your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to buy the telescope, you can visit the link in the de description and also buy the telescope. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. It takes a lot of effort to make these, these kinds of videos. So please subscribe and appreciate my effort. Also like this video. Leave a little comment down below and also share this video. Thank you for watching.